No, like I walked out because I heard it, and I'm like, oh my god, I had Not this like again. sixth <laughs> sense. Yeah, like because I, I, I asked Les- Lexi, I'm like. Why did you do delivery? Like, I, I would have just picked it up because I was already not home. I was driving from the store. And she's like, because I, I just, I did. And I'm like, oh. and I was like, I really hope no one crashes. I'm not kidding you. Ten seconds after I said that, boom. Shake it up. We are sweating it up here in the Martini Boy lab. I'm so sweaty. <laughs> it is like sweating? 58 degrees outside. No, I'm not sweaty. Uh, I'm not sweating either. It's like 58 degrees outside. It's like it's 56 no now. January, we just had 18 inches of snow basically where I am. Same. And Crazy. yeah, and uh, it's all gone. The grass is super green, and I was wearing flip flops outside. Yeah, I was trying Earlier. to catch a tan. It was basically summer. Yeah. But uh, let's get into We're it. We're here. Cheers. Cheers. What are we drinking today, Big Al? Big Al and the Martini Let's boys? take a sip. Mmm. <laughs> that tastes like alcohol. I like to swish it around my mouth a little bit and get it all up in my teeth, <laughs> in my cavities. I think it might be the unsweetened. <laughs> in my cavities. <laughs> <laughs> That's when you know it's good, is if it gives a zing to your cavities, you're like, yeah. Sometimes I just love swishing a good vodka. That's good. Yeah. It so is. So this is your star... Starburst, Starburst. Yep. Cosmo. We're not. Yeah. We're uh, the Cosmo boys today. We're the Cosmo boys. <laughs> Tell We're us. Still a martini. What are the ingredients of this science? <laughs> nice. All right. What, what potion? What, do what you scientific have for ingredients us? did you use today? Ingredients on this earth. <laughs> so we didn't have Tito's, just regular vodka. But I had a bunch of the vanilla from one of our insane concoctions when we were doing those weird ones. Oh yeah. So I just used that instead of vodka, and um. Lexi had her first sip, and she was like, that is delicious. And then I took a sip, and I'm like, wow, this is really good. And we've come to the conclusion it tastes just like strawberry starbursts. It, it does. It's pretty good. Yeah. you. So I think, too, it's a little more on the tart side because it's unsweetened um, cranberry juice. But if you use, like, a cocktail um, bottle of the cranberry juice, the cocktail, which is basically, like, fake, <laughs> fake stuff, the Diet 5 Ocean Spray. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, but it's still it's still really good. It's it like one hundred percent aspartame. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's awful. This well, I saw there was zero sugar in it. Um, cranberry juice at the grocery store. Oh yeah, but it was just like a bunch of stevia. So I'm like, still gonna be pretty sweet. I'd rather get like the legit stuff. You know, it's good though. I like it. Yeah, a little sweet. bit less sugar, but yeah, it's good. Definitely tart, but it's good. I'll I'll we'll do a. Just the cocktail juice. <laughs> what? what? I don't know. What are you laughing at? I just love laughing. I got Google ju- Google juice, giggle juice in here. Yeah, some sort of potion. Uh, I'll I'll get some just of the cocktail cranberry and redo this, and then you can and taste it. But I think the vanilla for some reason gives it that. You know the coating, not coating, but like well, kind of. It's like a waxy, chewy uh, texture for starbursts. Oh yeah. And I think that's like what that vanilla vodka gives. Yeah, because it's a th- it's it's weird, but it's a bit thicker than regular vodka. It's but chewy I think because it's chewy. The vanilla <laughs> vodka is chewy, guys. Chewy. Well, when you texted us and said Starburst, I thought you were gonna like maybe melt the Starburst down into like. Oh, a, like that a, would be cool. We like should do that. Boil it up liquid. a little bit. Yeah. Well, we were joking. Like, if this was my, if I was like working a bar or something, and I had like a special drink, we would just put one on the side, an actual Starburst, mm. as like. Garnish. Maybe when you open your bar. Yeah, I know. It's coming. Just throw the wrapper in there. The <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's good. Good for the environment. Yeah. It's good. Yeah. Um, it's delicious, too. Let's not get into that. <laughs> no, no. Let's Hillgate, you suck. Yeah, yeah. Sorry. Had well, <laughs> in, uh, at the Martini Boys studio, I'm putting together a bar, and the goal is to shoot some episodes at the bar. Yeah. Whether it be like, Quick ones, like a 10, 15 minute, we'll do like questions and answers, or we just do a whole episode. I don't know. We'll see. Yeah, it sounds like, good to me. It'll be fun. You have to get like a Boston accent, though, if you're the bartender. Oh, and wicked. We're, you know, we're sitting at the bar. You have to have a Boston accent. I'll do it. You, you can know? change my name. I'll, we'll think of a name. Stevie or like Jay. Sully. J- Sully, I like that. Welcome to Sully's Bar. Let me get you a uh, <laughs> yeah, quick you wanna, cocktail. Uh, let, me get, let me shake up some quick... Uh, <laughs> we don't have cocktails here. We just got brew. Samuel Adams and... Mm-hmm. Blue Moon. And then Heineken. Ben Affleck shows up. <laughs> hey, how you doing? Yeah. That's, that's New York. <laughs> <laughs> how you doing? Me and the friggin' accents. Hey, I'm walking here. We don't talk like that. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. 
Hey, forget about yeah. it. Do you ever see that video where a guy wears a uh, A Rod jersey and walks just down the streets of Boston and everybody's like, I feel like you get that one here. Like, so funny. Sounds accurate. Yeah. But I think he was a Red Sox fan. He was just testing to see what p- people's reaction would be. It was pretty funny. I like I like that stuff. You it, it brings out the truth. It brings out the true Yeah. Meaning true blue. Of, of yeah. Some people just are so mean. They just don't well, care. Before two thousand four there was that major rivalry bef- between the Red Sox and Yankees. Oh but yeah. That's dissipated since they won the World Series like five times since that's then. So sadly it's gone. I and mean sports just get people going. <sighs> it's such an like I was talking to somebody about this the other day. When I lived in San Diego, it's like there's no like they had the Padres who always sucked. They had the Chargers who sucked and then moved to LA. So like sports aren't like a big thing there, but in New England and the greater Boston area, especially, it's like sport. It, like sports is such a culture here. Yeah. So when people do that and test people's uh, nerves wearing an A Rod jersey in Boston, like they'll they'll let you know. They'll let you have it for sure. I, do you guys wish yeah. the Patriots Stadium was a little bit closer? I know you're not huge on football. But oh no, I, you definitely. Know, I feel like it should all be. I mean, it's like an hour and a half, but yeah, it's far, and it's it, it's a pain in the ass getting out of Foxborough after a game yeah. or a concert or whatever. I'm like, I wish it was in Boston. Because you'd have that like feel of the city and everything. There's nothing better than going to a Red Sox game, and like, you know, going to the bars beforehand. Yeah, just Fenway Park vibe. is such like a experience when you walk in there, and then yeah, you got all the bars on Causeway and the it surrounding roads. Yeah, when we go to the House of Blues, right, right in front of it or behind it, mm-hmm. um, Downs and Downsing Downs Downs um, t- Lands Down Lands Street. Down <laughs> Lands Down. Uh, yeah, we've been there quite a few times and. We're always about stopping into a bar too. Yeah. Even next door to the Irish that Irish pub there. We've gone to the country bar even. Yeah, yeah. It's like you said, it's 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 a vibe. Yeah. So I know you weren't obviously because I didn't know you yet, but uh, for the day of the wedding, we went to Foxborough for lunch. We went and to we, Patriots Place. We went to like, Patriots Place, uh, and that'd be a cool place to hang out. There's like tequila bars and stuff. I think we ended up going to a brewery. Maybe a lot of things were closed because. Yeah. I don't know. It was too early, I guess. Yeah. It was a Saturday. It was a Friday, but um, we we went out at like, like eleven 12, or something 11, or yeah. eleven. I think every yeah, I think everything <laughs> opened at like brother. five. Yeah, five we're ju- we're just grabbing some some drinks and some lunch before Alex's big day. But like you said, I think a lot of places might open later in the day. It yeah. might be different on like Patriots games days because like people are there early tailgating and stuff, so yeah. they probably want to go get breakfast and get mimosas and other drinks and stuff and just get ready for the game. Even when we went for the Ed Sheeran concert, it was crazy. Yeah, like it's almost like there was the Super Bowl. <laughs> it was nuts. It took us like an hour just to get out of the parking lot after it was over. Wow, you know, but it's it's a really cool place over there. Like it's cool to go see it. the field and everything. Do you think the traffic so. would be worse if it was in Boston though? The the problem with with where no. it is is there's one road in and out, right? But I think it wouldn't be as bad because people could take the train. You know, there's a whole T system that leaves. Yeah, you know, a you lot can, more public transit. Yeah, exactly. Like especially if it was in the north end, you know, you could take the T right into the north end from any, like any area. The north you know? end is uh, flooding right now. Is it really? Yeah, I saw a picture on like I don't know Boston Twenty Five or something. But Dang. we've uh, for those that don't know this area and. New England and Boston, Southern New Hampshire and stuff. It's there's been a lot of flooding. Um, we got 18 inches of snow, like Alex said. It's all melted, in Gone. addition to like a ton of rain. And then the ground is either frozen or saturated, so it's not holding or it's not allowing any more water. So it's just flooding everywhere. And and where Danny lives, especially, has been pretty crazy lately. Yeah, I mean, cars underwater, homes are underwater. We're talking, or we overheard our waiter last night saying that. He got into his car on the to go to work, and like the water had receded, but everything in his car was soaked, which tells you that the water went over, you know, the line of his whatever car door, whatever his car door. And um, yeah, like I sent you guys that picture. There's that Ferrari that was like almost completely underwater. All right, it was a Corvette, but yeah, was that a Corvette? Yeah, (laughs) okay. Um, it, oh well, still won't work. <laughs> yeah, either way, I mean that's why I said it was a stingray and it's natural ha- yeah. habitat because Corvette stingrays. But but I took it, a drive through the day after because we had a flood like last week and that was pretty bad. So yeah. I took a drive through all of Hampton and a lot of debris and everything. And like I even went to the parts where it gets completely submerged in water. Like I'm talking like two three feet underwater. And those you know everything had receded, but a lot of debris. And I was like, all right, you know they'll recover. But then today, like. The major roads were closed. Like you couldn't even drive down to the beach. 
I saw, you know, pictures and footage. And I even took some like from my house where the the ocean was probably a hundred feet from my house. Yeah. It's, it's crazy. never that close. I wonder how like Plum Island and, and Newburyport and stuff like that's doing Oof. too. Cause that's like that one road that goes out there is pretty low, like on the sea line or on the ocean line. Yeah. They're probably but... getting destroyed in Plum Island. Cause most of those houses are right on the ocean. Like, yeah, they have to drill so far down to put in like those big steel pilings. Mm. But a lot of them are old, and so they didn't have that, like, foundation. So they're just falling into the ocean. It's It's crazy. crazy. Jinx. (laughs) (laughs) Well, it's it's funny, too, that you mentioned Plum Island because Lexi and I were just talking about it. We went once, and we were like, we got to get us, all of us, to go um, with the the girls. We really liked – it's called the Beach Club. Have you heard of it? Yeah, it's right yeah. over the bridge. And yeah. It's like the first thing you come to when you get onto the yeah, island. Yeah, yeah. And there's like, oh. so everything is sand and it's like the lounge chairs. It's got a very skater surf vibe to it. And they've got cocktails. they got apps. Um, you can walk up and it's it's really cool. So I was like, we should definitely, if it's still there, <laughs> if it's still there for, for the summer. It's just yeah. a cool spot. I just hope everything doesn't get wiped out, you know? It's 50 something degrees right now in like the middle of January, it I couldn't. It definitely didn't help that it's this warm. No, because all the runoff from the snow, like you said, is just adding to all this. I drove by the Merrimack River on the way here. Is the fullest I've ever seen it. Jeez. Yeah, yeah, that's not good. It's pretty nuts. We're great. I'm, I'm grateful. You know, we're grateful. We're on kind of a hill, so everything has a runoff, and the town made it so we have that like gully that <laughs> someone crashed into. What? <laughs> not you. No. No, it was a, a delivery pizza, driver. Pizza girl. Yeah. <laughs> really? Went right into it. I got to show you the picture. Did I, uh, did I mention that? No. Nope. Oh, okay. We talked about you know it. why? Yeah. Maybe it's we didn't. Because we're always in group chats, and sometimes it's not one that you're in, and I think it you are. I know. Sorry. Sorry. It's Is that snap. urine? So, urine. The Urinal. Pooping. Urine. It's yeah. The, it, you're not pooping. <laughs> <laughs> if you go into the bathroom as an American and you come out of the bathroom as an American, what are you when you're in the bathroom? European. European. Like but um, wow. But uh, we that ordered the pizza. One. It is a good one. Dad joke. We uh, ordered a pizza and um, got it delivered. And it was it was raining a boom. lot, right? So this girl probably couldn't see that well, and she no, just she's drove like right six, like she's down like into this like little three foot gully right before your post that I hit. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you can see the light though. She was pretty off. I, I'm not. I'm not throwing shade at all i mean it, like you said it was pouring cold super dark which i really hope they fix <laughs> but uh she was about four feet before the driveway starts mm-hmm. making the turn into it i mean you're right she wasn't went, even close <laughs> no. so i felt terrible though i felt did I, she I, get I, out like she's they had to get towed she, oh, really? she like walked the pizza up to the door she's like hey here's no, your pizza I, but i crashed <laughs> yeah. oh my god no, like i walked out because i heard it and i'm like oh my god i had not this, again like, sixth sense yeah like because I, I i asked Les- lexi i'm like why did you do delivery like i, I would have just picked it up because i was already not home i was driving from the store and she's like because i i just i did and i'm like oh. and i was like i really hope no one crashes <laughs> i'm not kidding you 10 seconds after i said that boom and sure what? enough, yeah. Oh, was yeah. it like a minivan yeah. or something? Uh, yeah, it was like um SUV crossover type, oh, okay. like cross country. Yeah, she just like came from the way I come from and just like turned in before. Very like, slow. Like, even before that, she must have saw that post and thought it was on the left side of her. True. But it should have been on her right side, so she just <laughs> pulled in way too early. I walked out. Stuff happens. Yeah, stuff happens. It's fine. I, I was like, it's totally okay. I'm like, I just want to make sure you're okay. Stayed with her until, until the tow truck came, the cops came. Did you tell her that your friend crashed there about no, ten no. days earlier? <laughs> no, I didn't. No. Did you get your pizza? Yeah. Nice. So that's all that matters. I would have been like, you got the pizza. All right. Good luck. Well, I, I gave her an <laughs> I I, gave, I did give her a nice tip, and the reason why is because while like forty five degrees pointed downward, she still managed to get out of her car, <laughs> hold the pizza and salad, and goes, "Here's your like you said." She's like, "Here's your delivery. Like, here's Aww. your pizza and salad." I felt terrible. I, I yeah, like yeah. wanted to give her a hug or something, but like. You can't do anything these days, but I was like, you <laughs> especially know, hugging. Yeah, yeah, like, <laughs> yeah. It's just she was ver- she was very young, probably fifteen. You and don't half, see 16. too many uh, pizza girls. No, so good for her for getting after it and getting out, especially in that weather, like really that. grinding, trying to make a buck. Good yeah, for her. I, yeah. I, I used that. to be a pizza delivery driver, and one time I went to this guy's house and he just answered the door in like tidy whities. No, <laughs> like, I don't think this is for me. <laughs> With his it's son, wild. like right next to him, also in tidy whities. What? Right. This is very strange. So you quit yeah. on the spot. It, 
No. <laughs> <laughs> they gave me like the worst tip ever. I think it was like, it had to be like 50 cents or something like that. So I have a story, <clears throat> if you don't mind, which is related to delivering food. I worked for a company in San Diego called Order Up. It's basically DoorDash, but in that area. And we used to get these like crazy, like $250, $300 orders from like KFC and like Burger King and like all these weird places. And, and the delivery addresses were like behind a warehouse or behind a church or in like a park parking lot. And I was like, this is so sketchy. And it was always like these sketchy guys. And like, I always carried a knife on me because there's a lot of crime in that area. But these guys, like they, they never gave me any trouble, which is cool. But they, and like we were 90% sure that they were using stolen credit cards, but we couldn't prove it. But they kept making these like fat three hundred dollar orders, and I'd get like a ninety dollar tip. So I didn't care. I was like, these guys are awesome. I'm, I was like looking forward to their orders when I was working. They're like, yeah, leave them by like the sewage <laughs> plant, like yeah. lo- <laughs> this the uh, drain. But yeah, they like they just ha- have these gigantic orders, and we just would meet them in the weirdest places. It was so weird. It was, uh, like I said, I kind of got used to it, and like they'd give me big tips. So at first they weren't. They'd leave like the crappiest tips, and my my boss actually contacted them and said hey like if you're gonna do these big orders like you need to tip better mm. so i was glad he said that because then i got nice tips because like i said i think they had stolen credit cards so they didn't care right and 300 bucks i mean like a, like a like kfc or huge. something and then i just meet these like five guys or six guys in the parking lot and be like here's your food <laughs> must have been after work or something it was weird you know, feeding, i don't know families which may i mean 300 dollars worth of food man from a fast food place. So I had to That's like walk crazy. in with these bags. I had to like walk out with like two bags full of food. I had to come back in for like ten sodas. <laughs> wow. I don't know I don't know if they were like feeding their families or what. <laughs> I've never delivered food but um or just worked at a restaurant, so I don't have any of that experience, but it's definitely a grind. Yeah, I worked for Uber Eats like I think a year and a half ago or something before I met you guys. And um Abby and I were just doing it for some side money because we were bored. And um, that's the way to do it. But you you really don't make a lot of money. You know, like one night I made a hundred bucks and I had to drive like so freaking much. Dude, so it's funny you say that. Lindsay and I did the same thing about a year ago as well, just to make some extra cash. And like we'd be driving from Salem to Haverhill to deliver it. And then I was like, oh, another order. It's like, except you have to drive all the way back to Salem to get the food and then all the way back to Haverhill. I'm like, forget it. Like we're just driving way too much. Yeah, that's the thing. It was so much driving. Right, so a hundred bucks, not including gas and well, they end up like they would end they up pay? giving you like a little bit for gas, like they'd make a little adjustment. But at the end of the day, like you're making like twenty bucks an hour, which is good. But when you're going back and forth like constantly, that's like, what I hated. It doesn't feel like you're making twenty bucks an hour, right? You feel like you're just oh man, it, it was a lot of work for a little pay. So I think we made like seven hundred bucks, and then we just said we're done but the yeah. best part was when you'd have like a big order and it was like a couple miles down the road i'm like why didn't these lazy ass people come get their own food like th- i'm gonna make a pretty petty on this for driving two minutes well one lady just ordered ice cream one time like a little tub of <laughs> ice cream <laughs> doesn't it just it, melt <laughs> no, no, no i used to i used to deliver some ice cream places as well yeah. and but they pay but a lot like you know there's a pretty big premium just to get uber eats yeah. so you're paying like double what it would normally cost right but some people don't care yeah and then you're t- you're talking all this shit, and then you you show up, and the person that answers the door like can't walk or is like in a <laughs> wheelchair, and I'm like, you lazy oh. ass. Some I know, and you walk person. and like, thank you so much. Or they're blind and like, oh. Well, I'm the sorry. thing is with Uber Eats, like you don't actually have to see the person. You would just leave it at the door, take a That's picture, the best. and that was it. I That's know, the best. So you didn't have to see. But one lady, the lady that I did drop the ice cream off to, she had she was completely bald, so I assume she had cancer. Yeah. And so I was like, okay, this is where the good deed comes in, right? You know, like I would have done that for free. For and, a person like that, but and you know, the cold, like, uh, isn't ice cream like pretty good when you're in pain? It's like, yeah, yeah. You're supposed to like put ice on your head and stuff so that you don't lose your hair. The worst, but, not the worst part, but one of the um, parts of the job was like you deliver from these places and you get like like there's a lot of Asian cuisine and stuff, and I'd pick up these like salt and pepper wings for people. <laughs> Dude, they smelled so <laughs> good. I never ever tampered with anyone's food, but I was like, I want, I'd, I'd like, I'd deliver food and I'd be like, all right, I'm coming back here like later tonight to get food because it smells so good. Yeah, they did a poll like a couple years ago. I remember <laughs> seeing for so. people who were, it wasn't Uber Eats, um, DoorDash or something. It was DoorDash, yeah, and they, they said like, like what percentage the of them like actually take a little bit to eat, and it was like sixty. Who's gonna admit to that though? I don't know. 
And now, like, a lot of places, fries. like McDonald's and all these places, they put, like, big stickers on the bags that, yep. like, close the top so you can't get into right. them, which yeah. I appreciate. <laughs> That's yeah. definitely smart. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. We've done Starbucks, and only because uh, work. So we have a monthly meeting, and they pay for your lunch. Nice. But it's crazy, dude. You get 20 bucks for DoorDash. And just ordering two cold brews, vanilla cold brews, like plus the delivery <laughs> fee and the tip is over 20 bucks. Yeah. Mm. But the reason why I brought up is because when it was delivered, they come in inside the bag, they come into two coasters that hold them so they don't tip. The open part where um, you sip from had a tab on it, and then the bag itself had like five stickers. So, you know, you know, no one can it's like if it. tampered, like don't like let the store know. <laughs> So like it's pretty, your last pretty day smart. working for them, like I'm gonna eat someone's food. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> a couple fries, dipping fingers in. <laughs> I still worry about packaged food though. Like yeah. from my childhood, where my mom was like, "You don't want to eat that candy because people were like sticking needles into like the candy wrappers oh and like injecting stuff." God, dude. And I was, I was like, that probably happened like in one place in like Mexico or something. <laughs> yeah. And she's saying like, "Oh, it's gonna happen in you know by small town Massachusetts." Yeah, you see it on the news and you get worried <laughs> right. as a parent. I'm sure. Yeah, but I, I never forgot that. I was like, "What if they just have been had it? How can you as a kid my burger with some cyanide or something?" You know? That'd be nice. Well, they, yeah. <laughs> well, they, they were telling people that rat poison. <laughs> quick death. You take a bite. And then, oh, this is spicy. And then you wake up. You wake up in a different land. <laughs> <laughs> they were dude they were telling people at one point you remember they were telling people if you buy bottled water to turn it upside down squeeze it really because someone again probably a very low case happened but it spread like wildfire was sticking a needle into the tops <laughs> of the caps and doing like poison <laughs> so if you turned it upside down and squeezed it and you saw like a very quick or a mini stream That's you know funny. someone would tamper that, with it that reminds me we were talking about a uh, uh, blue mountain state briefly earlier because of the guy Thad Castle is, is the main character in Reacher but Blue Mountain State you know like all these like these girls wanted to get with like the Good star show. quarterback and they're like oh no we have condoms and Thad pulls it out and dumps water into it and just shoots out of all these <laughs> yeah, holes because yeah. they're trying to like you know be tied to this guy who's a <laughs> superstar I remember that episode that was yeah. so funny and then there was a guy who kidnapped Alex Moran yeah. because he wanted him to impregnate his daughter <laughs> he's like I need your your stuff you know like you're the quarterback of Blue Mountain State. <laughs> it's funny they d- they did that in the show because I feel like that was a big thing. Like people probably do that. Yeah, like yeah. poking holes and like yeah. getting pregnant for the wrong reasons. Yeah, yeah. That's well. Uh, now I get half your money. <laughs> oh, the world. Yeah, the world we live in. Yeah, but Blue Mountain State was such a great show. I loved it. Never it saw so the funny. movie. Yeah, was, I, I actually donated to the the movie. The Kickstarter. It was uh, way was overrated. Cool. Yes, it was. Uh, it was funny. It had its moments. There's so many cameos. Like I think Gronk was in it and stuff like that. Like there was, was a, he? Yeah, That's pretty sweet. There's a lot of like, Badland. Yeah, a lot of famous people in, in it. <laughs> I just like the show. I mean, the show was Same. amazing. I didn't watch every episode, but I watched a lot. And um, you know, friends of mine uh, in New York actually. That's where I started watching it on Long Island. They who saw the the movie. And I think they also um, contributed to the GoFundMe or whatever it was, the okay. Kickstarter. It was like, yeah, like it was trash. Like it was fine, it was cool, but like it was nothing like the show. Well, it, it depending wasn't. on how much you gave, that's like how much stuff you got. So like, I gave fifty bucks, and I like didn't even have fifty bucks in my name. Did I you just like loved them so much. I got a shirt that said Dad Castle on the back, like <laughs> Castle Fifty Four, <laughs> and then I got a shot glass. A beer glass, worth it, and a, a sign that you put on a door that says "Jerking Off," not jerking off. <laughs> <laughs> because okay, of that episode cool. with Sammy. Such like a college yeah. show. Yeah. Sammy Cacciatore. He's like, yeah. you see the sign? It says "Jerking Off." <laughs> if I wasn't jerking off, it would say "Not Jerking Off." <laughs> he's the writer of the show, which is the yeah, funniest yeah. Part. And he's a loke, I think. I think he went to Merrimack or something. Well, he went to Plymouth State and then he transferred to Emerson College. Okay. And I think that's where he Maybe started. Maybe from Nashua or something. I don't know where he's from exactly, but... but local. Yeah. That's, went to Emerson that's College in Boston. So I follow him on Instagram. Mine went there. That's how I know. In high, in high school, yeah, he went He went there. Yeah. Emerson. But yeah, just in the writing school, behind that show. <laughs> My buddy from high school. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> that's the kind of thing, though, that you like when you buy like the Patreon things and stuff, how much... That's the kind of... Sh- like a movie... Like where they would send you as part of like the package would be like a bottle of lotion and tissues. Like that's yeah. like that's the humor. Just that funny they'd, stuff. Yeah, yeah. yeah, that yeah. They'd be, and they'd be sending you. When I discovered it, I was in college, a freshman in college, so that couldn't have Perfect. been a better 
place, you know? Oh, yeah. Like, especially the theme song, we'd always <laughs> crank that in my room. Yeah. Give me a hell. So give that, me maybe yeah. that's what it was. That band is from, like, Nashua or, or from Merrimack College or something. Oh, really? They, yeah. Yeah, they just, everything worked out perfectly, f- like, in my mind in that show. <laughs> I love like, that. exactly how I wanted it to go, it went. It, it was went. just, like, perfect. One of and the it, best episodes. Well, a lot of shows, you know, like, season to season, they get worse, but that one got better. By the end, like, I just was, like, in love with it. You know that very last episode where they're at, like, the field, like, the, the cornfield, they build the... Oh, yeah, yeah. The uh, field out there, that's, like, that's all. Is it is it the drug Olympics when that girl has no arms and she's, like, chasing them and Thad's, like, tripping on something oh. and, and Sammy built her arms with beer cans, so she's, like... <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, yeah, and he's doing <laughs> and, and Thad sees her. <laughs> yeah, he's doing he his loud pitch away. scream. It's so funny. <laughs> the good old so days. So many good episodes. Like I love the episode where Thad becomes like this, almost like a monk. He's always like Namaste. Oh yeah, <laughs> and he like nothing pisses him off. But then there's this one girl that Sammy's been dating who has a really high pitched voice, and so she keeps like saying stuff, and then finally he just snaps, snaps, yeah. <laughs> and he's like, Get out of my house. I love when he's like, what are these nerds doing in my house? <laughs> yeah, the nerds. That was funny. It's just like that classic dynamic that you get in high school where it's like the nerds, yeah, the jocks. Old school compared like, to today's world. But yeah. I, know. I don't know if that show would fly these days. Probably not. None no. of that, Nothing none of flies that stuff, these days. Dude. To me, that reminds me of like the American Pie days. Yeah. Right. That, exactly. They were so awesome. Like an Euro trip, like <laughs> recent high school grads or college grads. And like that was just the thing, man. And you go to like some rock show and someone gets <laughs> drugged and then it's like the whole movie is like trying to find their way back home. <laughs> yeah. There's oh, there's such good times. The hangover movies and Yeah. <laughs> what's like what's like your what's a movie you would just watch over and over again that's I talked about this that, last night. Okay. Or uh, yesterday rather, but super bad. It's one oh. of those movies that whenever it's on TV, I'm like, I'm turning this on and I'm I'm gonna die laughing. Like I just think it's such a funny movie. There's so many like good like just just jokes that they crack Hilarious. in there and yeah that's where i kind of got familiar with emma stone and uh i definitely had like a little crush on her oh yeah movie. yeah i feel like everybody did ever yeah. watch that because that came out in 2007 that's Damn. crazy so, you know like yeah. i was still like, Joan, in middle school Jonah hill was still fat yeah <laughs> that's kind of what like taught me about all the stuff yeah you know the the birds and the bees yeah, that, yeah. That <laughs> the awkwardness yeah. how important is like bro like it's senior year we gotta lose our virginity bro we like we gotta be cool i want to yeah. be the iron chef yeah cr- smashing vase yeah. or something like <laughs> yeah. that <laughs> He's like, come on, it's a, the most important day of our lives. And it's funny because it was. My favorite part of that movie is Bill Hader and Seth Rogen as cops. Oh. They're like, always take a call at a bar because without always. a doubt, you get a drink. <laughs> oh, my God, yeah. Like, McLovin, come on. He was like, we knew it from it's the start, a, but we just wanted to movie. feel, yeah, they were like, we just wanted to feel cool again. My favorite part is when that old guy who's like drunk gets on the bus and he goes, it's you again, <laughs> McMuffin. <laughs> 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 and then like that one bottle of whatever drink it was. Um, what what oh, the, the gold the with gold, the gold yeah. flakes? That, yeah. that was all yeah, she what wanted. What was that called, though? I forget. Golden Schlager or something? Gold Schlager? I'm yeah, that might be look, it. I'm gonna look it up. Yeah, because and then like it just shows the slow mo of that bottle <laughs> flying through the air and then smashing on the ground. He's <laughs> like, "How can I kill you?" <laughs> Such a great movie. Another favorite of mine is Super Troopers. It's yeah. a little bit older. We were talking about that the other night. But I, it's one of those movies I owned growing up, so I can quote like the whole thing. Yeah, but it's just so good. So much good comedy <laughs> and humor in that movie. I really like The Water Boy with yeah, Adam Sandler. That's a good one. Like, Hands down. You know, he's like, Captain Insano shows no mercy. <laughs> gold Schlager was it. It was gold the cinnamon Schlager? the cinnamon schnapps okay. with the gold flakes. Anything Adam Sandler, Happy Gilmore from that era, for like Big Daddy, Little Nicky, Happy Gilmore. Happy Gilmore's one of my favorites Dude. for sure, too. Yeah. We watched it from beginning to end for like the first time, Lexi and my cousin and uh, her boyfriend and from beginning to end and they were just cracking up through the whole thing and I think at the time they were probably like oh like Adam Sandler like this guy like he's not funny or like he always acts like stupid or dumb <laughs> dude it is such a good such a good movie it's so funny yeah it's, it's cool because so he's also a local guy he's from like oh yeah man he's from Manchester, Manchester. Manchester. what's the chicken the chicken uh, chicken tender place that's famous up there oh the Puritan the Puritan he just walked in one day and he was like what's up guys how yeah. you doing yeah. just yeah. wearing a, a jersey guy, you know? yeah he doesn't. So I, I saw this that. interview with him the other day, and they asked, like, why do you always wear, like, these big baggy clothes? And he said a long time ago he was really skinny, and he didn't want people to know that. So he wore them, and then 
he, as he got older, he got fatter, and he still didn't want people to know it, so he kept wearing the baggy clothes. <laughs> yeah, if you think about in Happy That's Gilmore, funny. he's wearing that baggy jersey yeah. with the baggy jeans and like the big work boots. So like you wouldn't <laughs> Bruins, have Bruins, baby. That was probably like his normal everyday clothes. Too. Yeah, and I can I can understand why he did that because like as a skinny guy, like I would always wear baggier clothes because I'm just like trying to hide it but wait on yeah so that's funny invisible weight but back to um super bad because i was just it just popped in my head did you guys see jonah hill like how much weight he lost yeah he's like course. he's like super skinny now and like he surfs all the time did you and he got in a lot of trouble recently oh really uh he, he was dating some girl who was like a swimsuit model and she kept like wanting to post pictures and like, that's her career uh, and he yeah. was like super like uh what's it called, like, possessive of her. Yes. I was like, stop posting these skimpy pictures, blah, blah, blah. And she's like, don't tell me how to live my life. And, and like, he talked really down to her, and it all leaked, and he got in a lot of trouble for really? it. Really? And that was recently? Yeah. Yeah, probably I in the last six months that. or something Dude, or the last year. you know why year. that's sad to hear is because he was working with that guy, Dr. Stutz. Stutz. I watched it. I watched that, yeah, on, yeah, about therapy. Yeah. That's and cool. Like, you'd think that maybe after a decent amount of therapy and making that movie about, like, how beneficial therapy is, like, you'd be a little bit more, like loose compassionate at least yeah yeah compassionate empathetic so it's kind of sad to hear but maybe she was just toxic for him and he didn't realize it over time she was always in bikinis she was yeah. she was a surfer yep surfer yeah, the surf model. instructor or something model yeah, model and yeah. but like, like if you want to date me you can't show your your ass basically like it's yeah. almost like he yeah. well it got worse he was talking real real I'm smack sure. to her and it all leaked it all came out yeah sure. i mean that might be something he needs to work on because like yeah He's famous, so I mean, maybe she would feel the same what's, way. Like, what's the movie about him and yeah. uh, someone else slinging guns? W- War Dogs. That oh, is an yeah. awesome I never movie. Saw that. Oh my god! It's with Miles. Miles Teller. Teller yeah, yes. you got to yeah. watch that. That is a great movie. It. Miles still Teller is, is a funny guy too. Still is a great movie. You got to watch it. Yeah, yeah. He was in Baywatch, right? Or Miles who, Teller. Not, he was in Top Gun. That's what too. it was. was that's what. That's what it was. He Sorry, was in that movie Top Gun. It was Top Gun. Twenty One's a great movie. Yeah. Girls, girls were like. They're like, I'm going topless for this guy because he had the mustache. Yeah, is that Kevin Spacey in 21? Oh wait, maybe I named the movie wrong. 21 is the movie with Kevin Spacey. I forget the main actor's name, but the kid goes to Harvard. He is it not Miles Teller? Oh, I thought it was Miles. No, yeah. it's not Miles Teller. No, not in 21. Not the not the gambling poker that? movie. Yeah. Um, Miles Teller was in a movie with another guy, and it's about you know, them going to college and going to parties. I feel like it's maybe set in like Alabama or Auburn or something like that. Hmm. Um, so who's in 21? Uh, Kevin Spacey and his name is St- uh, Jim Sturgis. He went, he was Ben Campbell. Campbell. Yeah, Ben Campbell. Oh, yeah, the yeah, main yeah, character yeah, yeah. Jim Sturgis. Now yeah. I remember. You're right. But that was a really, really good movie. That it was. Do you know what the date was on that? That was probably like maybe 2009 or something. Yeah, I was going to say 2008. 2008. 2008. Yep, okay. 2008. Nailed it. Yeah. Yeah, but that it's was a movie. really good movie. It's funny now that you say that though, because I I feel like when I when you say 21, I think of Miles. I know Miles Teller. What was he in? He was like, in another movie where look it up. It's yeah, like 21. He he. 21, it was some sort of like, like Ace of Spades or something like Black Ace. Like he. Was, I thought it was something related to cards as well. No. Maybe it's just some. They were just at college and partying, and the main character met some girl and he liked her. Uh, so he was in a Netflix movie called, I think it was Netflix movie, uh, Spiderhead. Yeah, it's a Netflix. Um, and that was with uh, Chris Hemsworth. What else? Yeah, I don't know. Thank you for your service. Bleed nope. for this. War Dogs. Get a job. He was in the Fantastic Four movie. You have to watch War Dogs. You'd like it. Whiplash. Oh, he was the drummer. Oh, Whiplash, Whiplash okay. was good, too. Was Maybe that's what I was thinking was of. Because that's kind of like they're out of college still. Like. So, no, 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 it's not Whiplash. So he's in a movie called down. 21 and Over. 21 and Over. That's it. Okay. Twenty one and over. Yeah. It was like a it was like a Project X ripoff. <laughs> yeah. Super bad ripoff. Yeah. Well, Project X, man. That was a that good was movie. so good. Yeah, it literally like, was. It went from zero to a hundred so <laughs> yeah. fast. Like from them just having a party and the cops get called and then all of a sudden the neighborhood's on fire. Dude, yeah. The whole Can you street. play a song into the mic so that of we course. can? So there's a song called Heads Will Roll. Yeah, I know. And that's like the main song of that movie. That thing would get me. Like I would play that in the gym. I, I have and a it skateboarding would edit to that go, song. Really? Yeah. Oh my God. Just <laughs> The first part's a little long. <laughs> yeah, just play like the first five seconds or something. For, for copyright it. issues. Yeah, I don't know if we can. I know. <laughs> Well, we're just showing. It's the yeah, yeah, yes. Heads will roll. So we're not this. We don't own this. We're just sharing it. Yeah. 
Yeah. <laughs> let me let me back to it. This is when they don't they like they start they're drunk and stuff in the parties. Yeah. The party just goes crazy. And, and that's they're standing that on the goes. roof and he's yeah. like jump like go. Yeah. Yeah. It's yeah. It's the drop. Yeah. The, yeah. Yeah. Let the drop be. come through. <laughs> and I feel like the room is spinning and like yeah. It's just, I'll yeah. I'll have to show you my skateboarding edit too. It's funny. I did That's like cool. uh, at the end. I was like, and now the falls, and it was like during the drop is when I actually fractured my foot. Damn. So damn. yeah, good times. Great. Those but are Miles great. Teller, ankles will roll. Miles yeah. Teller <laughs> is in Top Gun Two, which yes. might be my favorite movie of all time. It was, and I'm a huge Top Gun. That was another movie I owned growing up. Like going oh, yeah. into aviation. My dad's a pilot. All this stuff. I loved it. But when Top Gun Two came out, and I, they took what three or four years to film it. Yeah. I think it happened maybe during COVID too. But it is so good and so top notch, and the storyline's great. All the acting's great. All the flying, all the awesome. action's real. And Tom Cruise, that's is the always, best part. I think he's is like, it, I wanted to do everything. All the myself. F- yeah, all the fighter jets. It's all real, and like all the actors got to go up in the fighter jets, and like they actually had to film themselves. He had to teach them how to film themselves because they were in like a cockpit. It was really cool. Yeah. One of my favorite movies. Yeah, that gave me like such a rush watching that in the. We theater. saw it in IMAX too. Yeah. Well, mm-hmm. we didn't see it in IMAX, but we saw it regular. But it was. It was so good. I think good. I saw it twice. It was worth it. It was so good. There's certain movies that you actually have to see either in IMAX or at the theater. Yeah. You know, like 1917. I don't know if you guys saw that with like, you know, it was that World War One. Oh, yeah, yeah. Um, movie. But like there's some movies that you just have to see in the theater to get that like effect of like the vibration of the seats and mm-hmm. everything. Right. And IMAX Maverick was, was really one of them. Cool. Yeah. Yeah. Top Gun Maverick. I just love that like, like he'd barely aged too. And those movies, that first movie was in the 80s. I, know. I mean, these movies were like thirty to forty years apart, and like he looked the, almost the same. Like, yeah, it was so good. I loved it. I yeah. really liked it. So yeah, one of the movies I saw wasn't World War. Well, I guess it was like in the same time, but I saw Dunkirk. Yeah, the that's guy from one. one Direction. Um, what's his name? Uh, Harry Styles. He was in it. We saw that at the Jordan's IMAX, and man, what that was like intense. Like when the, and like the planes flying over you and the crashing and like the vibration and just the noise. That like whirling, that whirling noise when the plane's coming down, and that like, and it's just like, whoa, that was an intense movie. Kind of sad, but it was well done. We got a uh, really well done. Lindsay and I got a sound bar and bass for Christmas, and it's like we've been like blasting movies, and it like feels like you're at the theater. It's pretty awesome. I love, I love it. Yeah, you get it. It's all about that bass. Oh yeah, <laughs> Megan <laughs> <No> Trainer. <trouble. laughs> Megan Trainer. That her brother actually went to school where I went to school. Oh, and nice. He, he dropped out like sophomore year to become her manager. That's so, cool. Like, that's pretty smart. Yeah. You know, he probably went, you know, right to being a millionaire yeah. within a couple of years. We're speaking of war. Have you heard of grenade gum? No. Grenades gum. Grenade gum. I've been seeing it everywhere, seeing all the reactions, and there was an offer to get two for free, just pay shipping, and I have them. So you chew it and oh. then you like blow up or something? Or? It's good to know you guys. <laughs> do we not? Do we don't know what's gonna happen here. Let's test it out, Grenade man. Let's gum. test it out. Explosively, Explosively strong. strong. So let me see what you got here. We got That's okay, peppermint bang. Yeah. And we got pineapple orange pow. Yeah. Explosive. Explosively strong gum. So these are open. Did it, did you try one? So so I they came I, open. I did. That's why I was free. <laughs> I did. No, I did. But I also wanted. I didn't want to have Dave to. I like, want the bang one. So this is the stronger <laughs> one. I'll get banged. I think that. Uh, me too. I'm gonna, like, let's get what's strong? Like, up. like it's sour or it's no, like sweet? No, it's, it's a minty, minty, minty. Think of Hall's times. So what is this one? Quadrillion, though? the same, right, but it's I'm like a... Try one. Wait, hold on. Let's all do it together. Oh, sorry, sorry. Do you want to do pineapple? These, yeah. Okay, uh, or mint. I'm scared. I'm doing mint. <laughs> all right, I'll wait for you guys. I'll do the pineapple after. Here we go. Oh, the pineapple sorry, actually looks pretty good. Right. Let me do a pineapple. Oh, I'll do a mint. It's fine, it's fine. There we go. We can do both. These look like grenades. They're supposed to... And cool fact, which I never knew, they're from Honolulu, Honolulu, Hawaii. I'm scared. There we go. I don't know if I trust it. It, it looked like there was a little needle right, hole. Let's go. <laughs> oh my god, it's really strong. <laughs> Is this gonna like ruin my taste buds for life? And it gets more and more intense. Enjoy the chewing sound into the microphones, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> Did you do the mint one? These are really minty too. I can breathe really good now. 
So the, the, fame, the like, fame to claim for this is like the what? The, the fame to claim. The, the claim. <laughs> sorry, <laughs> the, it messes up what your is speech. The, new the claim, the claim to fame is it it clears out your nostrils and a it lot of sure people, does. It, it, people use this oh to my like. God, I can breathe all of a sudden. Is this an ice bath for your mouth? It's weird. So yeah. they're manufactured, manufactured for Grenades LLC, Honolulu, Hawaii, but they're made in Taiwan. Woo. It just feels so good on like my throat right? and my nasal cavity. I love uh, nutrition facts like this, where it's like zero fat, zero sugar, zero trans fat, zero cholesterol, zero sodium, z- one gram of carbohydrates, zero dietary fat or fiber, rather zero sugar, and it's like vitamin D, calcium, omega, iron, potassium, all zero <laughs> percent. Did that give you a little caffeine rush with no caffeine? Yeah. Yep. It's pretty good, actually. Honestly, keep, keep out of reach of small children. No, nah, feed it to your five month old, <laughs> six month old. So it is strong, but I like Thanks for spicy. Sponsor. Yeah. Thanks, Grenade. <laughs> Grenades. Um, but after, it's like warheads. How much so was your shipping? $5. I can breathe so well right now. The right. First, I gotta I sold say, you. the first like minute wow. to minute and a half was like pretty strong, but it's kind of dissipated since then. So that tastes great. I had one of each just to make sure, because like I wasn't yeah, gonna yeah. set you guys up if it was like if it tasted <laughs> you like crap. Bro. <laughs> well, I know, I know, I know. But um, <laughs> I honestly really like them. And afterwards, like warheads, when the sourness goes away, it's like sweet. I love the way it tastes after like you get that nasal blast. Yeah, it's funny. It says not a low calorie food. And but there's five. five calories. Like <laughs> that's it, not low, dude. It, it's not <laughs> <laughs> two or less. Since when? <laughs> yeah, folks. Grenades. Speaking of warhead or war, dogs. they make your asthma go away. It's good stuff. Maybe we'll. They, I've been seeing a lot of a lot of posts by them, like reposts. So we should just like try weird stuff. I love that. I I. This I'm is, glad you brought these because yeah, I meant to bring something cool, but I just you oh, know, I got you, man. Life went on and forgot butter next time I, i'll be next so grenades grenades gum the hype the hype is real i mean some might not to me it's it's definitely powerful but i can handle it like i like altoids and stuff where sometimes like strong peppermint people it's too much or like listerine worst like feels like flames fire in your mouth i like this it's good stuff cool it's mo- mo- mostly minty but there's a little bit of pineapple in that one yeah you can try that one later yeah try it now <laughs> Put the I whole don't bag know in. If pineapple <laughs> after mint would be it so is great. Mint, it's very minty. Yeah. It's it remember when Listerine was like for the ones that like can't solve they're like orange and I I'm remember like that. dude, dude yeah. that was good. <laughs> it was. But weirdly good. Yeah. This it actually was, Sorry, go ahead. I was just going to say it was it was orange but still minty as hell like. Woo. I'm going I'm going. This going reminds me. So the other night <laughs> when I get home from shooting I just go to give Abby a hello kiss, and she goes, "Man, your breath smells terrible." And I was like, "Oh, that's weird." Like, I was like, "What does it smell like?" She's like, "Onions, just like just straight up." You had had wings, right? And so I was like, "So before I went shooting with you, I ate a salad, and I had just raw onions on it, but they were like pearl onions, which are way more like smelly." Yeah. And I was like, I need to say sorry to Matt because I didn't know if my breath just. I didn't stung. notice. I mean, okay. we didn't we didn't kiss that much, but yeah, yeah. Like, I thought you know you were plugging your nose when, when I was talking, so I thought Smell something it. went on. So but when you come next time, we found out that the the restaurant and bar we go to afterwards has darts. They're Sold really me. crappy, the ones that they have. <laughs> Terrible. Okay. But we had fun. We played a couple. We played three games. Are the games. boards themselves good, though? Yeah, they're good enough. I mean, Danny broke it a couple <laughs> <Quirk>. times. <laughs> Quirky. So, you know, it's like a cork board, but then it's got like the metal wire that says like one through whatever, 20. We're coming eight. for you, cork. Cork and, and Danny, Danny hit it twice, and the, both times it popped off, like the whole wire. <laughs> <laughs> but, we're going we're gonna to uh, bring some stuff to them. Cork and keg. Cor- I always say cork and barrel, but keg barrel. Yeah. Yeah, cork and keg. Cork and keg. It took me a while to get used to that, but that, that's a good a good place. I mean, I like the food it. is cheap. Like the, We never have wings. to wait. We sit right at the bar. The never drinks await. are cheap. The food is good. Yep. Now there's darts, and there's a bowling alley, which is kind of cool, but yeah. we, we can't beat we it. Dabbled and, the martini, and the martini boys. Yeah. That's right. So we're chewing gum, so we're in bad breath. Uh, so we're talking oral health here. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Have you what guys? What are you leading into here? <laughs> oh. Oral. <Uh-oh. laughs> Have you heard? Hood. Have you heard? Dude, this is making me like a young again, <laughs> like a five-year-old. <laughs> Have Yo, you young? Oh, dude. Mama. <laughs> Have, you, uh, <laughs> Have you heard of um, oil pulling? 
Yes. I used to do that with um, MCT oil. Okay. Where you just swish it around in your mouth and yep. kind of like it kills bacteria and everything. Have you heard I've heard of, of uh, secreting oil, but not oil pulling. <laughs> <laughs> so TikTok got me. I got to say, though, TikTok shop has had a lot of good stuff, and it's coming from the States. So, <laughs> what is this? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> um, TikTok's got what, gun? what now? Uh, so, so I saw this thing for the pulling oil. And uh, oil, pulling. oil oil pulling by yeah. Guru. It's called Guru Naturals, I believe. And uh, it had a huge deal going on. It was like $12. It came from York, Pennsylvania. And I've been doing that. It's been about four days. And I've gotten up to 10 minutes each. And uh, so the oils, it comes from like fennel oil, like a bunch of oils from vitamins, um, fennel seed oil, uh, coconut oil. So uh Cardamom, 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 cardamom oil. So it's all good stuff. Uh, It's all natural and is mint, mint in like spearmint oils. So I swished it and I've been doing it in the shower because I forget about it. So I'll take a shower and I'm swishing it. And then once you spit it out, you're supposed to brush your teeth. And it came with like a tongue scraper. My teeth have dramatically improved in sensitivity. And um, it's supposed to pull out fillings that are coming on, like cavities that are coming on early on. It's supposed to like pull out. So it's good for your like ma- like your teeth. Your teeth, your your breath, your for like natural like naturally, um, with the spearmint and stuff. And then also it's a teeth whitening uh, agent. So yeah, these are my well, two finds for today. Nice. Do these have oil in them? No. Like any, they, they might have a. They do have. Um, um, S- yeah, it looks sativa. like it's mostly like artificial sweeteners, but yeah, oils oils are naturally antibacterial. So when you swish that's them around cool. in your mouth, it kills like any bacteria that's like been on your teeth that can cause cavities. I know some so, people brush their teeth. They they'll like my mom's done it before. Like you dip your toothbrush in hydrogen peroxide too, and that kills a lot of bacteria and yeah. whitens your teeth. Yeah, I heard that's bad for the enamel though, because you need a certain amount of enamel. Right. But too well, much obviously is bad. I think hydrogen peroxide has like a high pH. So I think it's trying to alkalize your mouth versus it being acidic. Okay. Like some people, especially if you drink coffee, like you tend to have more of an acidic mouth. Right. Because of just natural acid reflux from co- drinking coffee. So your enamel can just wear away just from drinking coffee. You might not even eat sugar. You know, it's just from the acidity. So hydrogen peroxide will kind of re alkalize your mouth and help with um, cavities. I'm d- I'm definitely more on the cavity prone side of things, and that's Same. why I've been Me wanting too. to try. And I don't I'm I'm not sitting around eating Starbursts right. all day and Skittles all day, but it just happens. So I'm I'm hoping this helps, and I'm I'll see you after like a month. You know, um, we'll we'll see. I mean, I had a couple spots where cold and hot would affect it. It hasn't been now, and chewing and eating foods after I started using this oil pulling stuff. Uh, it's it's been you ever really, try really you ever good. try sensodyne so i, I have i, I actually have. i thought i had a cavity and i went to the dentist and i was like hey i have a cavity and like you think a dentist is like looking at me like cha-ching cha-ching but he said no you don't have a cavity just try sensodyne mm, ever since and this cool. is probably three or four years ago i've been using sensodyne ever since and my teeth have been a if lot they, better if they're providing you with an alternative right. great place to go yeah definitely see i don't even use fluoride toothpaste i use fluoride free is it like tom's or something um hello Oh. Hello. Hey. Hello, Danny. Like nice. Yeah, I have Hello. a charcoal Hello. toothpaste. Yeah. <laughs> I have a charcoal tooth- toothpaste. Oh, yeah. And then the regular just like white toothpaste. How's it working? For great. You? Great. Yeah. Does it taste like nothing? Like, af- like, I love that fresh, like I brushed my teeth. Like I don't like when I spit it out and I'm like kind of just, just like just feeling like uh, nothing. Yeah. Yeah, no, this definitely cleans your teeth more, I think. And I'll try um it. There's just like not as many harsh chemicals in it too. Like some fluoride toothpaste have like sodium lauryl sulfate, which is like horrible for your your oral health. Okay. Um, like if somebody has like a lot of canker sores, like a lot of times they're brought on by that one chemical. So I was just trying to like bring things back and get a little bit more clean because fluoride, like we're not supposed to, we like our bones need a tiny bit of fluoride, but not like as much as we're consuming. Right. And like, you know, after you brush your teeth, you're still swallowing a little bit of fluoride. So I was like, you know, why don't you just get rid of the fluoride? So Don't you know, a lot of towns add fluoride to their water? They do. Yeah. But if you have like a Brita filter or something like that, like I know you right. guys have that. Yep. That can I think that helps with fluoride. Probably. Yeah. yeah. We uh we filter through uh carbon. We have a whole carbon like I think that's the same thing that's in the Brita's. In the Brita's, yeah. yeah. 
And um, carbon filters. We have a water softener with with salt. We use the Norton salt. So it's supposed to be better does on your, your skin and how. So and does, hair. does does your water softener like feed into like your shower water? Yeah, everywhere. I showered at my mother in law's because I lost hot water the night before Christmas, and um, they have water softener and like it 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 feels so different. Yeah. Like it's like slippery on your body almost. It's like it it's is. like you have soap on your body that you can't like wa- wash off. It's it's really bizarre. Yeah, that's but, that's definitely what happens. Yeah, you 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 showered once. I think you stayed over once. So. you... You, you had showered here, but next time if you if you're here and, and do like definitely like I think I remember thinking that too. Like, yeah, it, it's it, it's noticeable. It's not like crazy, but like it doesn't it dry just, your skin out. That's the difference. Yeah, and it's better for like it's at least for Lexi. I got hair. such dry skin now. It's the winter right now. I know it's been very dry. Nooks, my knuckles, my palms, dude. Even my palms are like peeling. It's like so bizarre. <laughs> I think it has something to do with the water up here. Yeah, I think that they treat it too much. Almost, I'm sure. I mean, when I went to Ohio, I swear the water was different. Like, when I take a shower and, like, my skin wasn't dry at all. I normally have dry skin, but, like, my skin just felt different. I'm like, we should test the water in Ohio and then, you know. How far were you from Flint, Michigan? (laughs) (laughs) Maybe there was, like, some radiation in the water and that's why it helped me. But (laughs) the Flint is um, in the water. What's interesting is, like, when you add fluoride to water, it does kill bacteria. But when you consume it, it also kills, like, good bacteria in your stomach. It's not good for you. And everybody's been preaching, you know, probiotics and a healthy gut microbiome. But fluoride kills your microbiome. So that's why I was like, why don't you get rid of the fluoride toothpaste? And then if you're getting any fluoride through tap water, like run it through a Brita filter. You're not supposed to swallow the toothpaste, you know? No, I know. But like you, even anything you put on your skin or in your mouth ends up going into your bloodstream. Oh, yeah. You know, one way or another. So, and it's crazy. My cousin actually had told us about it. And I did some more research, and it seems to be definitely true, more true than not. Yeah. But brushing your teeth, you're advised by dentists, rinse it out. You're not supposed to. So you're supposed to brush your teeth, spit out as much as you can, and then let it sit. Right, because if you rinse, then you wash away the... the, So uh, all the progress is out. And I'm like, it's crazy because dentists you know, are always like, yeah, like rinse it out well, like rinse it out well. But this goes back to what we've talked about you know, it's just, it's just hypocrisy. It's what yeah, they, it's, it's what just they get. It's what they, get, they get taught yep. that to teach that. Right? Yeah, they oh. they have to agree to certain guidelines in order to get their profession. You know, get to their profession. Do this, do that. but yeah. it's not good for you, and we shouldn't be telling you this, but we're gonna. <laughs> yeah. Well, what's interesting <laughs> too is like, so there's, you've heard of lithium, and a lot of people who have like schizophrenia will have to take lithium to help keep them stable. Have you wow. heard of that? No, I haven't. That's yeah. crazy. So there's like, I know lithium batteries. Is it the same lithium? Pretty much, but it's like a pharmaceutical lithium that people will take if they have like schizophrenia. It keeps them balanced. Hmm. But what's interesting is we actually need a small amount of lithium to make serotonin, and they've completely like if you were to test the water for lithium back like a hundred years ago, it was like plentiful. Now there's like next to zero. And what's interesting is lithium helps you create serotonin which is you know your happy neurotransmitter so like i feel like people are more depressed because there's no lithium in the water because they have treated the water too much that's interesting they almost have to like let the water be a little bit natural and then you know let your immune system do the rest but it's just interesting to me how they've done that and you know like if if you drink a ton the next day you need lithium because you drain a ton of lithium when you drink so it's interesting stuff i'll just start eating batteries (laughs) <laughs> I'll be good. Well, you Add can take a supplement. Spring. <laughs> lith- lithium spring tape. and batteries, and baby. <laughs> Shots of lithium. Let's go. <laughs> but you could take like lithium orotate, which is just like a, a supplement to replenish. Yeah. You know, at the end of the day, it's a salt. It's a lithium salt. Okay. So same with iron. Yeah. Everyone's like, I need iron or you need more or less, but you don't really realize yeah, that Yeah, you're it's not going to go eat a piece iron. of metal, but no, it's but iron it's, and, yeah, you know, meat it is iron, yeah. So same goes for lithium. Bodies, bodies, crazy. Zinc, all these. There's a bunch of metals that are yeah. in yeah. like nutrition or nu- nutrients, rather. Yeah, copper's a huge one. Dude, it goes right back to the uh, periodic table. Yeah, and now it's just all substitutes and just basic stuff that's on the earth, and it's just like it's weird that we're made up of that stuff, though. Yeah, like we need a certain amount we're of li- copper. Living, like you wouldn't breathing, 
Yeah. Yeah. Is that why your blood tastes like copper? <laughs> <laughs> you, obvious, obviously. It, Pennies. <laughs> like, that's why our veins are blue. But it's crazy to me because it's the oxidation. But it, it blew my mind when blood blood's actually blue. Wouldn't that be cool, though, if, like, it came out of you blue? It came out, yeah, you're <laughs> like, I'm blue. da ba dee da ba Is that? <laughs> yeah, yeah, man. Are you sure? I thought that was a man. Positive. I'm pretty sure, too. Well, that's know. why your veins are blue. So it's like, how do you prove it? Because if you go in there, is it blue? So if you, oh, as soon as oxygen hits, it changes. It turns red. Oh, interesting. Blood's actually blue. Crazy. It is. It blew my mind. It's to this blew day. Blew your mind. Blew my uh-huh. mind. My blood's green. Yeah. <laughs> That's these are veins, man. And and they go right into it. They go right into it, and it's blue. And Dang. then I watch. Some people can't do this when you're giving blood or getting blood tests done. But when I watch, it's going into a blue vein, and it's coming out super dark red. It's just like, wow. Hmm. Weird stuff. <laughs> Weird stuff. Well, uh, that was today's uh, science science. Wow. Topic. <gasps> I'm all brained out now. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> it's a lot of thinking. <laughs> so Tampa, um, this is older, but it just started coming up everywhere that I was on on the socials, the social medias. Socials. Have you heard of Cameron? Uh, Diaz, yeah. Yeah, yeah. She's hot. Uh, Cameron <laughs> Heron. H e r r i n. No. So in March of 2018, he got a Mustang as a birthday gift, and he was with his brother, and he was going 100 miles per hour in Tampa. Slow. <laughs> on a 45 mile per hour uh, pedestrian, heavy pedestrian area. Okay. And hits a. 26 year old woman I believe I'll look it up so I'm correct because some people don't like that Mm -hmm. and the baby her newborn baby and kills them both and the reason why I'm bringing this up is because there's all these pages going around that's like justice for Cameron and that's this whole is this recent? now it is so he's in he's in prison for I'll I'll bring I'll bring it up so I'm so I'm accurate so I'm accurate here but uh the reason why I'm talking about this is because um, it's really aggravating to me. People are like, justice for Cameron. Like, he was just 18 years old. Like, we all make mistakes. Dude, That's breaking m- a window is making mistake. Double Lying, manslaughter, yeah. Dude, you just took away two beautiful lives. And I guess when the car was coming at her, she tried to push the baby out of the way. The baby was still hit, but then later passed in the hospital. Um, so he was sentenced for, uh, 24 years and his, and his dad, and I think the parents in general are like, we want to shorten the sentence. Like he has so much potential and dude, you killed two people. Mm. You like, you have to, that's my stand. You have to pay you. Unfortunately. There's consequence. Yeah. Do that. Right. Like, then people start doing it. right. No right. So what year did this happen? 2018. Oh wow! So he's still got a lot of time. He's still got. He's in the he's 20, in the Florida State 42. Prison. Yeah, yeah. Or twenty fifty two. He's gonna be uh, in his forties when he gets out. I think, just about. That's a big mistake. Plenty of time to think of his mistake he's made. Right, and that's the whole purpose of it. And Man. and dude, you can't. There's so many. Like I think the parents launched the Facebook page and like, they do uh, lives like on Instagram and TikTok. Um, him in his cell or prison or by the phones and he's like you're you're on the you're on live with a thousand people like say hello it's like this guy's not a celebrity man mm. you you got a mustang i'm assuming that they got money and you're with your brother your older brother and you're deciding to go 100 miles per hour down a high pedestrian area street and you just kill not to be not to be bringing the mood down but i i just i wanted to bring it up because where i stand it's like it just pissed me off. It just pissed me off that they're trying to make, make him seem innocent. innocent when he's not. You're 18, man. And yes, yeah. I know that the, the brain develops when you're like 20 something. Like they were like, it's not 18 anymore, but still, like, dude, you're going. Mistakes happen, but that's a big one. And that's that's not okay. Manslaughter. Two lives lost. Yeah. Yeah, that gets into just like moral grounds, you know? It's like. Yeah. And that's in Florida. If that was in pretty much any other state, it probably would have been life in prison. Oh, yeah. Florida's a little bit more lenient on things. I don't well, know. It's because it was involuntary mon- manslaughter. Yeah. Right. It wasn't obviously wasn't wasn't his intention, but it happened. And yeah. like hundred miles per hour. And I'm assuming it was like a two lane 
two on each side kind of street. And I brought it up too because I know you were in Tampa um, for school and stuff, so I didn't know if maybe you heard. No, I didn't. You heard I want to know where it happened though, because let's man. let's figure it out. It was Let's probably it on West Kennedy Boulevard, I can almost guarantee Did it. you leave Tampa in, what, 2016? Yeah. It's just... Tampa's a sketchy place, man. If you went just, like, a half mile from my campus, like, there'd be just people dead in the street. Yeah. You know, one of my friends stumbled upon just a homeless guy just dead, like, with a huge pile of puke around him. Like, he just drank himself to death. Like, it's wild. She was only 24, and wow. the baby was 21 months. Yeah. Man. I think like, and I don't know these people at all, but I like got this like, I got that th- like swallowing like a yeah ball of like a rock when mm-hmm. when it was like before her last like breath like tried to push the carriage away and I was just like, sad man, Damn, dude. And and the other thing that really aggravated me was what murderer will stay around when the police come and greet the parents and tell them how sorry they are and make sure that they're taken care of like the family. I'm like, dude. One, you're supposed to do that, but two, that doesn't change the fact yeah. what you were doing. Yeah, it's like, oh, we should reward him for doing the right thing. It's like, well, he already really messed up. Yeah. I'm looking up now what Damn. street. Sorry. Well, I knew I, a kid I in <laughs> I knew a kid in um Tampa who like went 160 miles per hour on this freeway where there was there were no pedestrians that would ever cross over. But I'm like, dude, what if you hit like an old couple? I think of my grandparents who drive on the highway, they drive like fifty miles per hour. Okay, you know, that's hit, dangerous. Yeah, I mean, it's dangerous, but, like, they're just trying to get home. Like, right. you know, at the end of the day, they still want to go out and do things, but you hit right. them, you kill them. Like, I would never forgive that, no never. matter how nice you were uh, afterwards. Right, great. Thanks for t- thanks for apologizing, but yeah, yeah. you ruined my life. Yeah, you, I, see, that's where it comes down to being just, like, a responsible person. I personally won't go that fast in an area because I know what could happen. Right. I think ahead. Some kids are just like, oh, I want to be cool. And that's the price you pay. Right. So you're stuck in jail, buddy. People fly in Florida. Like like my yeah. uh, my wife's grandmother lives down there. And like we've been out to West Palm Beach area a handful of times. And like we'll be going like 75, 80. And people are flying by. Mm. Like people go drive so fast there. It's crazy. Yeah. And they don't need um, inspections there. <laughs> yeah. That's why a lot of it's rental crazy. cars are out of Florida. They have Florida plates. Yeah. I've seen that in Arizona. Because I guess Unbelievable. the regulations are. Yep. But still, eighteen-year-old, sad story. story. Eighteen years old, just graduating high school. That was his present of graduation. It happened on Bayshore Boulevard. Bayshore. Oh my God! I used to live right off of Bayshore Boulevard. That's why I was just looking. That dude. There are so many people. There's people walking, running, biking. Because there's a. It's basically like a walking path along. That's where she was walking the the baby. She was strolling the baby. Yeah. 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 Just. Probably listening to some music, hanging out. Yep. I used to go running down there all the time. I That's mean, why I wanted to bring it up. I just felt like you'd have at least some sort of connection. With, yeah. I with mean, Tampa. there was this time where somebody was just murdering people on that strip, too, oh Bayshore Boulevard, God. which is, it, dude, like, it's just crazy. It's sad because, you know, there's innocent people walking down there. They just want to enjoy themselves, look at the water. And, and next thing you know, they get hit by a car. It's ridiculous. Got to keep your head on a swivel these days. Yep. Yeah. That's the thing that's like scary is like, I'm not necessarily worried about myself or you guys or like our, our girls. It's like you got to pay attention to the other people that are not paying attention yeah. and the other drivers that are doing stupid stuff like that. Yeah, you have to. Especially with riding motorcycles. Like I, go, I ride motorcycles pretty often. It's like I really have to like keep my head on a swivel out there because people are, you know, they're looking for a car. They don't see a big vehicle. They just see like a little red flash or something like, oh, whatever. And they go and then that's me. So you really got to pay attention. It's the people that are not paying attention that you have to worry about. <laughs> yeah. The, the the whole the whole takeaway from this too it's like you got to pay the price you have to learn and it's, it's some people have to learn the hard way which you is have sad to. you have to and and there are stupid mistakes for sure throwing stuff at a building or egging people or breaking a window or even like robbing a store or something it's like all right well you're not killing anyone but you stole so you got to pay a fine or you spend 60 days or a couple months in in the clink but um you 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 just took two two lives away and rules are rules rules are rules exactly if you let them out that's that's a precedent right. all the other people who have done this now will oh it won't be that bad out. it won't yeah. be that bad and then before you know it everybody's out and you know who knows well r.i.p I, I just found out about this it was a while ago but it's just you know i'll have to look it up head. Yeah. yeah cameron heron cameron heron 
So, <clears throat> all right. Well, to leave things on the happy note, sayings. That's it. <laughs> That's it. Congrats. <laughs> Yeah, what do you got? You mentioned sayings, and then you totally ghosted me with that. Well, because uh, we still had some time. Yeah. We like to try and keep it that nice 58 mark. So there's some sayings here, like really weird sayings, and I'm, I'm going to read them out, and then if you know it, tell me. If like, you don't, like, guess what, yeah, it, what, what it means. Yeah. So the first one here kind of made me laugh. Your wig's a little loose. What do you think that means? <laughs> means you're a little crazy in the head, a little cuckoo? Yeah, you're right on nice. money, bro. Yeah. You're right on the money. Yeah. Makes it sense. says from Kentucky. He wigs a little bit. Get a wig. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's funny. I was right on. Yeah. You're just like, you're crazy. <laughs> this is a South Dakota. Get a wiggle on. Like get like get a move Dance. on? Dance a little. Let's see. Get a wiggle on. Let's see what it means. <laughs> which is sense, essentially means hurry up. Yeah. Get a like, move on. Oh, all right. Giggle get a, on. Yeah. A this giggle. Is, yeah. A wiggle. Get a wiggle on, right? This is from California. Gotta get flat. What do you think that means? Um, uh, maybe it's from like earthquakes or something. Dude, yeah, man. So it, it, uh, well, it says it. Okay, it's a question. Is this Duck something to do with earthquakes? It means like getting down. I need to lie down. But still, like if you think of uh, if you think of um, uh, your equilibrium, equilibrium with vertigo and stuff. If there's like a earthquake, sometimes you gotta lay down. Oh, uh. so I kind of see. Gotta get flat, man. <laughs> Yo, there's a. 5.2 happening right now. You got to get flat. Uh, not to like go on a tangent, but there's a Do huge it. earthquake in Japan recently on New Year's Day, actually, like 7.2 or something. Yeah. And like I saw videos of like the ground and like the building shaking. Like I've experienced two earthquakes in my life, and like the most solid thing you've ever known in your whole life, the earth, when it starts moving like that, it's so bizarre. It's so weird. It probably it's feels freaky. really weird. Like, I was sitting on a couch, and the couch like rolled, and I'm like, what the heck? Like the most solid thing I've known my whole life, the earth just moved under me. Like That's crazy. Yeah. So I, I saw a video of the ground splitting and because of the changes underneath, uh, it almost makes the tar and the concrete look liquid, like liquefied. And it, it moves like waves. We've had two it's, it's earthquakes in New see. Hampshire. And what, what are we on? We're on January 13th. I mean, this is like a couple weeks ago now, but, in the first like week and a half of the year, we had two earthquakes in New Hampshire. We did, yeah, okay. like really small, like two point something. But I think Mass has I, had it too. Yeah, one. If you're like right there, you probably feel a lot, but you know, right. Jeez, oh Pete, that's what you say when there's an earthquake. <laughs> Jeez, oh Pete, this is a Michigan thing. Lexi, Jeez, oh Pete. Does Lexi say that? It's sort of like <laughs> saying like Jesus, Mary, Mother of God. You know, like my grandparents, uh, Jesus, Mary, yeah, Jesus, Mother Mary. It means it's like a it's a <laughs> Jesus Mary of Joseph. It's like a polite polite company is like likely forcing them to keep it G rate keep it G rated. Otherwise, you might hear some other choice of words instead of this <laughs> phrase. It's so funny. When I was little, we were we were driving <laughs> Jesus, somewhere like Jesus, in, in California with my grandparents, and there was a U-Haul, and I didn't know what U-Hauls were or what the company was or anything. And my grandpa is like yelling at it. He's like. This dang U-Haul, and I thought like U-Haul was like a, a curse or something. I was like, I don't know what that means. And then like <laughs> I grew up, and I'm like, oh no, I know. He's but casting like, spells. <laughs> He's casting spells. Got a got a couple more. Just, this one is uh, from Vermont. Just because a cat has her kittens in the oven, don't make them biscuits. What do you think that means? Something to do with being pregnant. And I don't know. Just because you don't you have the cats in the oven doesn't make them. It make reminds biscuits. me of. Uh, there's many ways to skin a cat. That's a saying too. Yes, yeah. yes, yes. Sorry, cat owners and lovers, but it says you own a cat. So yeah, what well, they're really you're covered. Okay, th- you are covered. <laughs> Pico, I can say it. <laughs> <laughs> what, what it says when when someone says this, what they're really trying to say is that even if you were born in Vermont, you're not necessarily a, v- a Vermonter. Mm. That's a weird. I would never guess that in no. a million years. Like I don't just because cats, that has nothing, that nothing to do with the I saying. <laughs> I know. It's like, yep, you're not a biscuit just because you're in the oven. The cat's in all of them. The trees are purple. And it's like, oh, that means you can't live in Massachusetts. It's like, what? <laughs> Dude, I'm glad I wasn't born in Vermont. <laughs> I'd be eating sticks. Here we go. Last one with, with uh, Wyoming. Looks like 10 miles of dirt road. I mean, is that pretty it, literal? Like, I mean, It's like the road ahead of you is going to be rough. Yeah, like difficult yeah. to your head. That's what I would think. I guess it <laughs> means... Um, Somebody looks disheveled or unwell. Dirt dirt roads are often unkept and bumpy, washed out by storms 
and read it especially after use of the winter. So it's like, I like must these. be that must originate from Texas. Like, hey, honey, you're yeah, looking, yeah, like, you're looking like ten miles of dirt, dirt, dirt road. road. Yeah, right. With a blood lot at the We're end, like, maybe. Hey, looks, well, we say because we say like someone looks washed up or yeah, been, been through the mud. I know a lot of people say it, but I've Truck heard my, my cousin say it the first time. He, I was like, oh, how's living in Texas? He's like, it's cool, but you can watch your dog run away for 10 days. <laughs> it's so flat. That's a good one. I love, I love a good saying. It's good stuff. I like the football, and the best day of my life was when I Football's the devil. drank a Bud Light with my dad. <laughs> Foosball's the devil. Yeah, water's the Going devil. Going back to the water boy. That's like, yeah. Al- that's like Alabama. Oh, yeah. But good well, stuff. No, Louisiana. Sorry. Go Louisiana. Ahead. Well, guys, thanks for tuning in. Thanks for hanging with us. Until next time, as always, shake it up. I'm going to try one of these. Thursdays, 11 a.m., new videos. Thanks for watching. (laughs) Remember, Grenade's gum is explosively strong. (laughs) Cheers. Peace.